Good evening, welcome to Left, Right and Center. I'm Vishnu Shom on the program tonight. Prime Minister Modi's cabinet in his historic third term retains the known faces in the big four ministries. Amit Shah, Rajnath Singh, S. Jay Shankar, Nirmala Sitaraman. The Prime Minister personally handles the Ministry of Personnel, Public Grievances, the Department of Atomic Energy and the Department of Space. What about the allies? That's so important. We'll find out in just a moment. Also, the important portfolios that women MPs will have. My colleague Maria Shakil joins us in a few moments. Later on on the program, three foreign terrorists were involved in the attack on a civilian bus in Jammu and Kashmir's Riyasi on Sunday evening. Nine people, including children, have been killed, more than 30 injured. Sources say there are three terror groups operating in the region. Unconfirmed reports say that at least two terrorists are hiding in the upper reaches of the Riyasi region. A massive search operation is on them. Sources also say that American-designed M4 carbines developed in the 1980s and used extensively by militaries around the world, including by the Pakistani Special Forces. Weapon, those weapons were used in this attack. We'll be talking about that to the former um, commander of, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, of the Northern Corps uh, in a little while from now, the Northern Command, I should say, and several other experts, including former Director Generals of Police. And finally, an exclusive interview with the Bhutanese Prime Minister, Dasha Shering Tobge. We speak on the environment, environment and strategic alignment. He also speaks about how the Prime Minister is his guru, mentor and bade bhai. But first, the big story. The cabinet expand. The cabinet uh, is now been sworn in. Uh, who are the big leaders? Nija Chaudhary and my colleague Maria Shakil uh, join us at this stage. So let's start right at the very top. No change in the top four. What is that meant to signal, Maria? Yes, so no change in the Raisina Hills portfolios or the CCS, which forms the Cabinet Committee of Security Affairs. So Nirmala Sitaraman is back in the Finance Ministry. Uh, uh, the Home Minister, Mr. Amit Shah, is back as Home Minister, Defence Minister. Rajnath Singh is back as Defence Minister and External Affairs Minister. Uh, Dr. S. Jay Shankar is back in the same role. So it's essentially signalling co continuity. If you look mm -hmm. at it, immediately after that, the second, the fourth, uh, in fact, the fifth biggest portfolio is the railways. You have the same railways minister, Nashwini Vaishnav, who has been given an additional charge of INB as well. Again, the key infra portfolios, infrastructure portfolios, uh, which has been very, you know, a, Pet ideas of the Prime Minister are implemented by these ministries, which includes road and uh, highways and transport, which, uh, which is seeing the return of Mr. Nitin Gatkari. Uh, then if you look at other ideas, you know, the former, uh, the two uh, chief ministers, the former chief ministers of the BJP, who are now part of the Council of Ministers, which includes uh, Shivrat Singh Chauhan, four-term chief minister of uh, Madhya Pradesh, who has handled uh, the, the, the farmers' protest, which happened in Mansoor with great elan. He is now the agriculture minister. He has been given another very crucial portfolio of rural development. Mm -hmm. And the other one, which is Banhur Lal Khattar, is again being given a place of pride. Uh, he has been given housing, urban development, and also Ministry of Power. So I think it, the message is continuity, but I think the, uh, the Prime Minister is also relying on the experience of these leaders, understanding fully well that the challenge going ahead will be coming from these portfolios, and hence these are veterans who have dealt with these situations in the respective states, and hence have been given this position. Nidja, let's talk about the allies. We've been talking about them so extensively. Chirag Paswan gets the food processing department. Uh, aviation sees a shift. It's gone to the TDP. Jyotiraditya Sindhya moved to Northeastern Affairs. And he's also the, te the, the communications minister of the country, uh, Paswan, I mentioned. Uh, Jitin Ram Manji will have micro, small and medium industries. Uh, there has been a change as well in... Uh, so those are a couple of important ones in, uh, with uh, the uh, allies. Ram Mohan Naidu is the TDP leader who's got the Civil Aviation Ministry. These are not the top posts, as it were, that has been a demand. And there is every reason to believe that even the Speaker's post will continue to remain with the BJP. Uh, while these might be important posts, Civil Aviation certainly is, the others. Is this enough, you believe, for there to be uh, happiness among the Alliance members? Uh, uh, you know, I mean, for there to be continuity and long-term stability? I think that is something we have to find out. TDP is the key ally with 16 Lok Sabha constituencies, had obviously agreed to one cabinet and one MOS, the same number as Nitish Kumar with 12 Lok Sabha MPs was getting. Obviously, he's made a comment somewhere, uh, his remark that we will get more ministries as time goes on. But uh, uh, 
he, they've still got a heavy infrastructure ministry, civil aviation. The youngest, uh, Ramon and I do. Uh, and the richest, youngest right? Minister, 36. Uh, uh, but what about Nitish Kumar Janta Del Yu? Hmm. Lalan Singh has got Panchayati, Panchayati right. Raj and Animal Fishiri. husbandry. And animal husbandry. Now they're happy with that. From the reports one had read and uh, heard about that they were wanting railways ministry. Railways ministries have always gone to, mostly gone to Bihar. So are they happy? That is something one would like to know. Uh, uh, other allies, I think, should not be unhappy at all because Jitin Manji has got a weighty ministry. He's yes. got only one member. But the, the mere, you know, a concept of a Musuhar Jat Dalmaha Dalit being a cabinet minister holding an infrastructure ministry which is going to affect his state and his people is a big thing for our democracy. Sure. So that, yes, food processing with uh, Chirag Paswan, a ministry held by his father, I don't think there should be a cause for grievance, though he had a strike rate, 100% strike rate. So also RLD, uh, Jain Chaudhary given MOS education plus mm -hmm. another. So I think... Uh, uh, it is only the Janta Dal you one would be looking at whether they're really happy about this or not. Maria, the number of women uh, in the cabinet who've been sworn in or uh, who were sworn in yesterday, quite limited as a percentage. It's small. But could you tell us a little bit about some of the important portfolios? Obviously, the finance minister, Nirmala Sitaraman, remains. Yes. And in the cabinet, there's... Besides uh, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman, there is another woman, which is Annapurna, Annapurna Devi, who is getting the Ministry of uh, Women and Child Development. Besides that, I would uh, That's say... That's what Smithy Irani used to hold. Th that yeah. is what she had. But overall, uh, the representation of women in the Council of Ministers should be a matter of concern because, you know... Uh, be it the farmers or the youth or or the women, the prime minister has been repeatedly talking about them as as their as his own constituency that he has carved out, moving away from the caste narrative. But overall, the representation of the women in this 72-member uh, council is uh, around 10% or 12%, which isn't really much. But just to, uh, to add to what Nirmala, uh, what, uh, what what Nija ma'am was saying, uh, you know, in 2014, uh, Vishnu, mm -hmm. the Civil aviation portfolio was held by TDP. Uh, and so for them, it is almost like a continuity if you look at it. Because they walked out of this alliance in 2018. They are returning as an alliance partner in 2024. And they are getting the same portfolio. And uh, to add to the thought, I think, uh, you know, for, for example, Bhupendra Yadav is continuing in the same role. He had labor portfolio along with environment and forest. Hadi Puri in the that same is role being as well, right? uh, Ministry you know, of Petroleum and Natural Gas also. Hadi, Hadi Puri, Puri is continuing. The, his, Yush, uh, Goel. Is continues. continuing with the same role. Dharmendra Pradhan has the same portfolio. Sarbanan Sonowal has the same portfolio. Uh, interest, ch interesting choice in terms of the parliamentary affairs. Yes. You know, K Kiran, Kiran Rijuju, Rijuju. I mean, uh, comes from Northeast, uh, has been a veteran in terms of parliamentary negotiations, but he will have to fill in, uh, you know, a very, very important role because uh, the parliament functioning will become very, very taxing for a simple reason that you have a very aggressive opposition which has a significant number of 240. Uh, so, you know, 232. So, Kiran Rijuju will have, will have to show a lot of political dexterity in managing uh, that fine balance between the treasury benches and opposition. And uh, Arjun Ram Meghwal gets independent charge for law and justice. Law and that justice. is something which Rijuju used to hold in the past and then he lost that. Uh, but uh, it's an important post that... Uh, so, Nija, the law ministry goes to Ar Arjun Ram Meghwal. Yes, that... that uh, obviously, the Prime Minister was very happy. He has a way about him also. I uh, think he's done well. Uh, uh, Arjun Meghwal in the law, law ministry. But you know, if I was to ask you, Nija, because, you know, we've gone through so many names and frankly, it's lost uh, among possibly to our viewers. There's so many names over here. I'm just trying... When I look at this and Maria is into the, into the detail like there is no tomorrow, <laughs> it, just, it just strikes me that this is, you know, it's, it's pretty much the same. It's almost like yes. old wine uh, in, a, in a new bottle <laughs> or a glass.
Of course, of course. Right, it with is. one or two and interesting additions, the ministry I cover very closely, civil aviation. Yeah. I need to make friends with a new minister who I do not know. Uh, but no, you, uh, I'm sure you have you were friends with Ashok Gajapati Raju. That's so true. he will so, just be pa passing on the baton, you know. It's continuity no, so, there also. So, but but there is nothing. Uh, it's it, you know very very significant. Yeah. And since it's not that, again, that the, this question on everyone's mind is. If the BJP is continuing with this in the name of continuity, is that going to be good enough for the allies going down the road? And we, we still don't know prime, anything about speaker, do we? The, you see, the prime minister wants to give a signal that the coalition government has obviously created some element of uncertainty. How is, is it going to run? Will he be able to manage it? He's giving a signal that it is going to be a politically stable dis dispensation. Those ministers who I'm bringing in have huge experience. They are familiar with their portfolios. They are going to continue even as new people are going to be inducted. So there is going to be a solidity in the whole exercise and that I am in control of things. So that is the broad message the Prime Minister wants to give. Now in terms of the allocation of portfolios, he has kept the top four who are members of the cabinet security on uh, uh, cabinet committee on security with the bjp he's also kept very weighty portfolios with the agriculture yes. rural Richa, who's going to be the next housing. national security you know, advisor others, mr dovel's term mr dovel's with the with, with and the, who's the next bjp now, president now, all that is up for. that's the central question the, the new NSA is going to be who, Mr. Doval? Uh, you know, I mean, his term comes to an end. Is there a possibility of him getting that once again, Mr. Jay Shankar? There was huge rumors that perhaps he might be shifting to NSA. He remains as foreign policy, uh, as, as the external affairs minister. He takes over tomorrow morning uh, and a very successful foreign minister. Um, but what about uh, the NSA portfolio? Uh, the, the speaker's portfolio, and what else did you mention, Maria? That's the BJP president. The BJP president, Mr. Nadda, now the health minister, which is a huge ministry, of course. Nija, go ahead. Yeah, on, on Mr. Nadda, he is very familiar with the health ministry. He moved to uh, uh, become the party president and is back now. So there will be a new party president. There's a lot of uh, speculation and suspense about who it's going to be because it's going to be very critical for the BJP. There are important state elections coming up. And that, you know, uh, Haryana, Maharashtra, Jharkhand, Delhi, and then a little later Bihar. And the BJP will have to re-seize that initiative, prove that they, they you know, uh, people still want them, you know, particularly after this setback in the Lok Sabha election. So who becomes the president of the BJP? Sure. Is of and another person, Ashwini Vaishnav, whose name just uh, came up on the screen, retains the railway ministry, and he's also going to be the information and broadcasting ministry. Uh, that's what I, Anurag Thakur yes. uh, used to There's hold. Massive elevation. And Mr. Thakur is somebody who doesn't get, uh, you know, I mean, he hasn't got a portfolio this time uh, yes. around, obviously. So, you know, one, Vishnu, one of the there is a massive yes. elevation for, for Ashwini Vaishnav. It's almost like an endorsement of the work that he has done in the railways uh, ministry. Uh, so, I think he has the complete faith of the Prime Minister. And that's what uh, this seems to be with, with three portfolios now that he will have. So overall, I think the leg up which one leader who has got will be Ashwini Vaishnav, who entered the Council of Ministry only in 2021. As a not, bureaucrat earlier As a bureaucrat. On, right. so as a bureaucrat yeah, to so, a technocrat to, you know, I mean, to now multiple portfolios. So he's seen a huge rise, as you mentioned. Go ahead, Maria. Yes. So I think that becomes interesting. Otherwise, uh, uh, who gains, who loses, not much, one would say. But uh, uh, Ashwini Vaishnav really stands out in this entire picture and I will also talk about C.R. Patil, uh, the BJP Gujarat president. Uh, he won with a record margin of almost like 7,25,000 votes from Nafsari in, in Gujarat. He enjoys complete confidence of the prime minister. And he's not got a po the portfolio, right? No, he, he's been made minister, minister in charge of Jal Shakti. Right, right. Remember, this portfolio was created only in, in 2019. So the messaging here is that there are certain concerns with regards to Jal Shakti because the Jal Shakti minister in Gajendra Shekhavad has been given culture. All right. Okay, well, I'd like to thank you very much, uh, and I suppose the focus will now shift to actual governance. Now that we know who the ministers are, uh, will there be stability in that entire process? Only time will tell. I'd like to thank you both very much.